Hello, my name is host Eric, I'm the host of Talking With Famous People, and I begin this episode hoping to talk about a intellectual categories that we have for things, uh, systems of understanding, and the extent to which those intellectual categories represent a reasonable distinction in nature of system, or if instead they represent an arbitrary distinction or some combination of the two. So Callum indicated when talking about these uh, five elements that the it seems like a horoscope a bit that you're describing well you're you're 12 months of the year and you're going to fit into this kind of personality because you're born on this day and there's no reason to, uh, to think at all that the day you're born on has any correlation with the way that you are actually so it's like even if even if you happen to hit that description right well you got a one in 12 chance of getting it right um, if, it's a, if, if those behaviors or traits group anyway for some other reason, then your horoscope's going to be able to sort of utilize that grouping phenomenon of data to impose a reason upon it that is unrelated whatsoever. So, okay, that's one model that says about horoscopes that they ought not be considered valid. Mm. Somebody who believes in horoscopes might say, something along the lines of well I mean I know a lot of people who line up pretty much spot on the money with the descriptions based on their their sign and you know a lot of people who don't it's because they were born right on the edge of the, the line or something like that or I, I don't know people might say any number of different things do you have any take on this eccentric M? well yeah because there's a bit of a difference between what we just did with the five elements or phases and a horoscope because there's both in China um, the five elements is mainly based off of um, an observation of nature and, its, and, and the phenomena and medicine. And they try, and it's very contextual. It's very easy to take literally with the whole elements in body thing. It, it's just uh, symbolic mainly, but it's it's like an ancient an ancient um, psychology, as it were, and medicine all together in one thing. Whereas the horoscope. That's more fate, and as you say, born in this day, you must be this. And um, that can be applied to the Chinese um, New Year's animals. You know, people are born on the year of the chicken, which would be mine, or. And then and they so always on. run away, right? If you're born in the year of the right. chicken. <laughs> uh, Low hanging fruit there. Okay, so uh, at what point. So is it. We have this sort of intermediate ground of system. Um, which is neither, which does not make causal claims, right? It's simply making descriptive claims, and that's going to be evaluated differently than something that's making causal claims. So, if we do in fact note that these formulate good sets of descriptors in terms of coincidence coincidence you know but in terms of the fact that these things coincide with each other more frequently than they coincide with some alternative which would make sense right it's unavoidably true that to say that somebody is uh, neat and tidy and to say that somebody is uh, generally on time that those are not going to correlate perfectly but that they are going to um, probably correlate more strongly than somebody neat and tidy uh, who also uh, enjoys destroying household objects. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, this, this is a terrible examples, but the point is dichotomies do exist. There is a mechanism of exclusivity or of up-down seesaw relationships between things in the world. That mechanism does exist. We can think of plenty of examples of it. We can think of examples in physical space, where we're talking about an actual seesaw, where one side can't go up without the other one going down, without breaking the seesaw and changing it from a seesaw into a broken seesaw. Right? There, are, it's necessarily the case that one side goes up when the other side goes down. Well, there are that mechanism is at play abstractly as well. So, to the extent that I am attending to playing, I'm not attending to cleaning up, would be another example of that mechanism of play, right? So I think it's reasonable to think that a given 
descriptor or set of descriptors and a given model that says these descriptors relate to one another in the following ways because of the ways these descriptors relate to each other in specific ways and because of the way those relations manifest in reality in specific ways that because of that this descriptive system can provide meaningful input about predicting human behavior based on identifying these sets of correlates of behaviors or self-identifying those and being able to better uh, identify the same behaviors in yourself. Mm. Ideally, if you were going to test a model like this, you test it according to predictive claims that you could make based on the system's assumptions of the strength of the correlative relationships between different dichotomy pairs. Yeah, I like it when things have dichotomy pairs and so systems that are odd numbers I'm very suspicious of. Those five winged systems. Five things. That's one too many! I took your tests. What'd you get? Um, let me check. Uh, water, metal, wood are my first three. So, what are the numbers? Philosoph uh, Philosopher 17, Alchemist 16, Pioneer 7. Overlord 17. in the house! What are you guys talking about? Uh, poo, mostly. Talking about your poo, other people's poo. Specifically mine. Specifically yours, yeah. Or like, talking on about? like ISTP's poo. No, yours specifically. Yours personally. Okay, so it's not tied to cognitive functions. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little sidetracked. Uh, no, we weren't actually talking about your poo. We were talking about five. The uh, we're talking in this particular video about alternate descriptive systems and the value thereof and how to distinguish between them. So, for example, we were talking about this five-element system that the Chinese have with wood, fire, earth, metal, or water, yeah. and the sets of correlating behaviors, and whether it's of any value, okay? So I made a big speech already about, and I made my speech already. You missed my speech, sorry. It was yeah, pretty man. good, too. Well, pretty I'll good speech, it. right? It's pretty yeah, good. I'll watch it when you upload it. All right, cool. I think that's a good ending for this video. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope we fleshed out at least reasonably well. Unless anybody else has any other topics, unless anybody wants to add anything else to this, the idea of when a system is of value or not. We do know that uh, Megabro doesn't like odd-numbered systems. Anything else? All right. Let's call it a video, then. No, don't. God damn it. It's really hard to maneuver.